Hey there, welcome back. This is part two of our tour around the pond, showing you all the various fishing structure and habitat that we're building and placing before we fill it with water. And so if you missed part one, be sure to click the link in the upper right corner to get caught up. But come along with us as we show you the south side of the pond. More brush and rock piles. Here's the standpipe. So here's the water level. That's going to set the water level with the, the through pipe all the way through the dam to the other side. The spillway will come down all the way down to the back side of the, the standpipe ties into close to that, maybe three feet ish lower than the, the top of the dam get a picture where the water line will eventually be here X marks the spot that will be water line so we've got rock pile there we go Big old stumps to create some good fish holding habitat. And what's great, we told the builders to just to leave the bottom rough. And I think that's a lot of these different tracks from the excavator and bulldozers and and even the, moving the clay around, all of these clay boulders essentially I think will be um, really great so here's the the end of the point that we've that we've created you know fish hold on points and drop offs and and the and the, the top of the the top of the point's going to be a kind of a shallow, flat. You know, you think of walleye structure, and walleyes are deep during the day, and then they come up to feed on the on the on the shallow flats during the night. Yep. We'll get through All right. More culverts, clay boulders. Real rock boulders here. Oh. This is going to be a little shallow bay area, maybe to promote some some spawning. Peninsula here to access this little south cove that we're creating. So this will all be above water. And then here's another shallow spawning area. Place this rock, this rock bridge here to hopefully 
maintain this shallow section up in up in there Buried a stump, a root ball upside down to create some holding structure right near the the point here. I think this is going to be dynamite for fish holding. I don't know, I'd say that looks great. If I were a fish, I would play here on top of the point here water level will be roughly where the light clay meets the the black dirt this good rip wrap this is going to be about 12 15 feet and then this this terrace here is right at 15 feet below water level hopefully create a travel route for fish around the point The rock rubble, travel flat, we've got some cuts from the, the water running in. Hopefully that doesn't get a whole lot worse before we get water level up to that height. And then here we get into a lot of different irregularities and Down a little deeper. Here will be 18 feet, 20 feet. Yeah, we'll be 20 feet, and then what's in the pond right now is anywhere between three to seven feet deep. Hold a few fish, I think. going to be a flat area carved in to the front of the pond here this will be two to three feet deep on this little flat before it drops off on this ledge some culverts out there water line it's going to be where these three flags are so this will be kind of a, a you know, a shallow, a shallower slope before dropping down into some, some deeper ledge. And we're going to stick a bunch of, a bunch of artificial structure 
for fish in here. As we come along this way, this is going to be where the raging river enters in. We're going to build a, a stream, a water feature with a reservoir up at the top with a circulating pump. We're also going to bring the well water, which we're going to need a supplement to fill the pond with additional water from the well. That's also going to tie into the reservoir up at the top. We're going to stick a, um, a membrane down to keep from erosion and then on top of the membrane we'll stick a bunch of different size rock and, and build a, a series of stream and waterfall with um, some running water running into a, a gravelly bed right here and that's going to create hopefully the goal a spawning area for for walleye and other fish too we're going to stick walleye in here and people say that you can't get walleye to reproduce in a pond but we're going to give it our best shot and so stay tuned for for that as we build this river system If you've got any ideas or suggestions for us, please be sure to leave them in the comments for us so we can take those into account before we fill this thing with water. So our goal here was to not just create a, a bowl. I think we've accomplished that so far with a lot of different kinds of structure. We've got a lot of artificial structure that we haven't even put in here yet and that'll be fun to See where the the dry barren spots are and and supplement there thanks for following along we're gonna hopefully fill this thing with water and get on to the next stage we've got aeration coming that's actually in the garage we just need to get power down to the lake if this was helpful or you want to follow along on our progress and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.